So speaking of them, let's head east. The Bucks. Ooh, they've I moved into the second place <laughs> in the conference with a 127-121 win over the number three Celtics last night. Giannis and Drew Holiday. They each scored 29 points for the Bucks. Now Boston led by three with just over two minutes left. The way that the Bucks closed was incredible. They went on a 9-0 run and pulled a half game ahead of Boston. But Miami's defense has been stout all season. They rank fourth in efficiency and are the second best at defending the three, which we know is bread and butter for Milwaukee for creating that space for Giannis Antetokounmpo. But Perk, since you have the best nickname for that Miami team, I want to start with you on this one. <laughs> First of all, what's the nickname? Them goons from Dade County. Yeah, all right. So if them goons from Ga yeah. Dade County are going mm -hmm. to keep having a deep run, if they're going to have a deep run this year, what's going to be the one key thing that you're going to be watching that's going to tip you off to say, you know what, yep, this is their year? Well, you know what? It's one key person. It's not one thing. It's going to be one individual, and that's going to be Bam out of the bio. But mm. for the simple fact that I want to see how dominant he actually could be on both ends of the floor on a consistent basis. Because think about this: the matchup that he, the matchups that he might have to face in these playoffs in the Eastern Conference are Joel and B or Giannis Antetokounmpo. Bam is going to have to hold his own, or kind of play to the level of them. So I want to see if he's able to go out there and get me 25 and 12 a night and defend on the other end. So it's not one thing, but it's one person that I'm looking at in these playoffs for the Heat, and that's Bam. What are you looking at, Janae? You know, it's interesting because I absolutely agree. You know, being that small center but also a key instrument in their offense, I absolutely think that the X factor is Bam. But I think the reason that we sort of, quote-unquote, disrespect the team that is now number one clinching in the East is because they don't have a mega superstar in the way that we talk about uh, Giannis and the Bucks or even what Tatum has emerged this season with the Celtics Jimmy or Joel Embiid healthy. having an MVP. Yeah, exactly. So I think the disrespect really comes from we talk about one or two players for a lot of the top one through five teams in the East, whereas this team, their strength is that they do it by committee, and I love it. Again, come playoffs, you, it's like next man up. We need everybody. They have the most points off the bench, led by Tyler Hero. They're top five in almost all defensive categories. They've done it by committee, not knowing who's available, and they've navigated that sensationally. It'll be interesting to see. They'll need that same recipe to take down those super mega stars of the East in the playoffs. What do you think, Matt? Bam needs to be the best player. I agree with you guys. But who I need to see is I need to see Bubble Jimmy Butler. Ooh. I need that Jimmy Butler. Mm. Uh, you know, three years with, with Miami. You hear rumblings about whether they still get along. You also hear rumblings about could Bradley Beal be heading to South Beach. So unless this team makes a big run, don't be surprised if Jimmy Butler is the center of a situation that could possibly land Bradley Beal in Miami. So to me, we need to see old Jimmy Butler, who was dominating, not always have to be the leading scorer. He didn't always have to be the leading scorer, but he has to be the leader he was tired, of that man. team out there, man. Oh, He's got to be the leader. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.